angry guy here. And today I'm discussing why the truth is incels are just undesirable men. We're going to go more into that in depth, but I'm going to explain myself why I'm saying that and just really branch out of it. Alrighty, guys, before we get started, you know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe for more great Angry Guy content. If you want to see more of my content, check me out on patreon.com slash angryguy. There's tons of great content there for you to check out. There's, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So like, share, and subscribe for more great Angry Guy content. Check out patreon.com slash angryguy. You know, go there. You can find exclusive videos. You can find early access to videos. And if you have a video request, you can submit your request using the PayPal link in the description of the video. You can send your request over with your with your contribution. There are specific parameters explained in the description. If you want to drop a donation also, you can drop it via PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, all in, all in the description. Anyway, guys, let's get started. The truth is incels are just undesirable men. What do I mean by that? Well, first off, let me make it clear. A lot of men who are being labeled incels today are absolutely not incels. If you're a guy who's not overweight, you know, you're in, you're in moderately good shape, okay? You have a good job, you know, you're making your money, you know, you don't have to make your million dollars a year, but, you know, you're making enough to take care of yourself, to put some money away, and, you know, you have your own car, you you you, you have your own place, or, you know, you're, you're, you're living, you're surviving, you're doing well enough. You're not an incel. I'm going to make it very, very clear, Okay. If you live, if you're, if you have a job, if you have a job and you're making, and you're making decent money, and you're not overweight, but you live with your mom, that does not make you an incel either. That makes you smart. That makes you smart. If you are not paying stupid amounts of rent, that makes you smart. That does not make you an incel. Oh, but I'm not getting laid. 63% of young men in the United States, according to a recent survey, are single. Okay? Another survey found that most men in the United States right now have not had sex in over one year. One year. Most men in the United States have not had sex in over one year. Now, keep in mind, only 34% of women are actually single. And even the ones who are single, just because they're single, doesn't mean they're not sleeping around. The simple truth is this. Most women today are only interested in the top, top 1% of the top 10% of men. That means that they are not interested in 90% of men in America. They find 90% of men in America in the West as undesirable. You have to be six, a bit above six feet tall for most women. You have to make over $100,000 a year. And even for some women, that's not enough. They'll tell you they're not impressed. Okay? You have to be mommy, daddy, and Mr. Clean for these women. Like, you have to do it all. You have to, you have to be their emotional support bear. Okay, you have to be their protector and their provider, and do not expect a thank you either. Because only a real king can handle a real queen, but the queen doesn't do anything. You're the, basically just doing all the work. So you're basically giving, you're basically giving praise, giving offerings to the queen. Modern women really don't offer. Men, modern women in the West don't really offer men much, which is the reason why the password bros, the password bro movement has taken off so much. And men are walking away from society. Men are walking away from what the, from the expectations of what men should be, what men should be doing. And it's instead saying, you know what, we're done. We are walking away from society. This is why the MWA movement is so big and it is growing. The password bros are only a subsect of MWA, men walking away. And you're going to see more and more men walking away. Not walking away because they don't want a woman, okay? 
They're not MGTOWs. MGTOWs are male separatists. I was once a MGTOW. I was once the angry MGTOW. And, you know, when these guys became so freaking loony and they became separatists, I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. I am literally done with that. Because, you know, the, even the monks, you know, the monks talked about this, that you're not supposed to hate women. Don't hate women. You know, if, if you want to practice something, practice indifference, which is something even much, much different. And it's something that's even that's that's really in some ways even more severe. When you're indifferent to someone, you don't care about them at all. You don't focus on them. You don't look at them. You don't you have nothing to do with them. And that's that's a, that's a hell enough itself. But these guys, they started practicing, you know, they began they became hateful and they began practicing separatism. They are male separatists. And, you know, what comes after separatism? Hatred. <laughs> Let's just be very clear. Hatred. What comes after separatism? Hatred. Okay? Sep you ever heard of separate but equal? You remember those days when we have different water fountains and different bathrooms for different skin people with different people with different skill skin tones? You know? And it, was, and it was literally separate but equal? Yeah. It's like it doesn't work. But that's what the MGTOWs are about. Men walking away. They don't hate men walking away don't hate women most men walking away are heterosexual men who want a woman but they're looking at society and they realize that most women don't want them and women and, and the things that they want in a woman most women don't offer those things in the west so they're walking away and they're going to places like latin america like 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 asia especially the philippines to find a wife but the incels the incels true incels are just really undesirable men there are a lot of men who are being lumped in with these guys and now calling themselves, themselves incels who are not incels. If you're a guy and you're working, you're, you have a good job and you're making your money, all right, and you're saving your money, and you have a car, you know, you have a car, so you have a way of getting around, okay? But there are some guys who may not have a car. If you live in New York City, some guys don't even have a car because they don't need one. It makes literally no sense for them because public transportation works for them, all right? And I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Like, if you can save that money, save that money. All right? And they don't have, they have everything they need. They have everything they need. You don't have a lot of, I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of men have no business living on their own. I know you're like, what? A lot of men have no business living on their own. In Italy, for example, men typically do not leave their mother's house until they get married. The average man really has no business living on his own unless he's married. I'm just being honest with you. Why would you be out there living on your own? Why? For like, for, for what reason? I mean, if you're a grown ass man, like, you know, okay, you're in your 40s and your 50s now. Yeah. You know, even in maybe even in your, somewhere in your 30s, but in, in your 20s, get, oh, come on. You have no business living on your own. You really have no business spending $30,000, $20,000 a year, $30,000 a year, $40,000 a year on rent? Are you insane? That's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You know, when you finish college, if it's an option, you should go back to your mother's house. Go home. Move back. Go back to the same room that you were living in. If mom wants rent, pay her rent. I'm being so serious. Some of got some guys are like, oh, but what about being able to take a girl back to my place? Listen to me. Most of y'all aren't taking anyone back to your place. You're taking a prostitute to a motel. Okay. I'm just I'm just, I'm just being real. You're taking a prostitute to a motel. You're not taking a girl back to your room. But oh, I like the option. Fuck, shut the fuck up. All right. Y'all need to just focus on stacking that money. Stacking that money. And here's the thing: if you're living with mom. If you're living with your parents, guess what? You're not going to be completely alone all the time. When you're completely alone, when you're living by yourself and you are completely alone and you don't see anyone else and there is no one else there to support you, now that is a living hell. And a lot of men experience that because they have no one. Because they go out into the world and they think they're going to start these lives and they, and they end up with an empty apartment because not because they're broke, <laughs> but because as men, we don't need much. Like, there's a meme going around. There's a meme going around, guys. Like, uh, um, like single, like single man's apartment. Let me see. A single man's apartment meme. I want to see if I can find this for you guys. Like, it's so fun. It's so funny. I think it's hilarious. 
Let me see if I can find this meme for you guys. Because, like, it illustrates, like, you know, what a single man's apartment looks like. These are some pictures of single man's apartment. And I think that, I think they're hilarious. You know, I think they're absolutely hilarious. Because some people are, like, trying to dis on disguise for, like, the way they're living. Like, oh, gosh, look at your little... Look at your little house. Look at the way you're living, you know? And it's like, and women are like, how can you live like this? And dudes are like, I can live like this quite well. I don't need to waste any of my damn money. You know? I don't need to waste my money. I have no business wasting money. Like, a yeah, single man apartment meme. So, check this like, guys live in apartments like this. Like, right? And, like, basically, you have, I mean, guys, this is lit. I don't know what anyone's talking about. This is lit. Look at this. Look at this right here. This man has his, he has his, uh, his recliner. This looks like a recliner. Has his cup holders, PlayStation 4, flat screen television. I don't really know what else the fuck he needs. All right. I, I prefer, I, I like Nintendo Switch. If he has one of those laying around. But it, listen to me. This is everything this man needs. This man has everything he needs. Okay. Okay, on on the stand over there, he has you know he has water right here. He's like that's that's uh, looks like smart water, you know. I mean, what's what's anyone complaining about? This man has everything he needs right there. Everything he needs right there. Men are very simple creatures, and women basically hate on us. Like, <laughs> like oh my gosh, these guys. Like you're, uh, like, like can can relate. Check this out. <laughs> I mean, this is a little extreme. This is a little extreme. But I mean, I don't know what people are talking about. Look at this. This guy's like dead ass my life right now. TV chair to sit in. All right. <laughs> Got some clothing. Like this is this is a, this is how dudes roll. Why would you buy things you don't need? You know, why do you have a ton of shit you don't need? Okay, dude has his TV, his video games, a chair to sit in, and you know, clothes clothes in the closet, laundry hamper for dirty clothes. What more does? And I'm, I'm I'm assuming he has a bed or a futon somewhere to sleep in. He doesn't need any more than that. You don't need any as a man. Listen to me. All this extra shit, all this extra shit is extra spending. That's what comes to women. You know, that's what the women. <laughs> that's what the woman does. 22 truly haunting things that are in literally every straight guy's apartment. Mattress <laughs> ah, 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 ah. ah, on the floor with one pillow. Yeah, bro. Represent, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Listen to me. Life with no wife. Life with no wife, all right? Save that money, bro. Save that money. Guys, look at this right here. Look at this folding chair, TV. I suppose I'm guessing there's video games on in there. All right, that's it. Nothing else needed. Okay. Look, guys, here's another one. All right, everything he blow up mattress, place to sleep, sheet on top. All right, guys, living his life. All right, folding chair, TV, PlayStation Four. All right, oh, man. <laughs> uh, guys, look at this one here. Mattress on the floor, water, laptop, clothes. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, look at this guy. Look at this pimp. Look at this pimp living his life, living his best life. Computer chair. What's that, Xbox One? Xbox One, flat screen TV, all right? Internet. Yep, internet modem. And there's internet modem right there. All right, this guy has everything he needs. Game Pass. Game Pass, guys. Bro has Game Pass. Bro has Game Pass, all right? Playing all the games he wants, not even giving a shit. Saving that money. Saving that money. This is titled Guys Really Live in Apartments Like This and Don't See Any Issue. You're damn right. You're damn right. I don't know what nonsense. I don't know what, what, what nonsense women think this is. They think this is a game. 
All right, here's another setup. This is a great setup right here. This is a damn good setup. He has a, he actually has a table. There's a chair for him and a chair, and a chair for a friend. Well, actually, though, no, this, this I guess multiple guys live in there. Bachelor, not so stylish bachelor's pad. All right, guys, this is a great bachelor's pad. It's a great bachelor's pad. They have everything they need and they don't have clutter. All right, they don't have clutter. I'm telling y'all, men. Men do not listen. When men are on our own, we don't need much. We can live simple, simple, happy, carefree lives. The only thing is that most guys want a wife. They want someone that's going to cook for them. They want someone that's going to clean for them. They want someone to talk to, someone to go out and do things with. That's normal, okay? That's absolutely normal. Most men want a companion, and they're willing to compromise. They're willing to allow a woman to come in and to decorate the home and make the home more livable. You know, put a couch in, do you know, add her touches to it, and that's what. And Filipinas, they love doing this shit. They love making homes livable. They love making a home their own so that they and their man will be comfortable in it. They love stocking a, a, a fridge and making sure that shit is filled with food, so there is always food in the fridge. They don't want to go out and buy garbage, buy junk either. They like making their own food, and they are slim. Filipinas are mostly slim. Most most people in in the Philippines are slim. All right, you'd be hard pressed to find a fat Filipino. I'm not saying that they they don't exist. I'm just saying that most people in the Philippines are slim. That's a part of the culture. When it comes to to like true incels, like most you know, when it comes to really true the, the true incels, true incels are just undesirable men. These are guys that don't want to wash their ass. They don't want to you know they don't want to. I'm just being real. They don't want to wash their ass. They don't want to take a bath. You know they don't want to wear clean clothes every day. They don't want to go to the gym. These guys don't, don't really have good personalities. They think that the world is owed to them. They think that pussy is owed to them. Like, listen, yeah, women have it. Western women have gone way too far. You know, I mean, they only thirty. They only like they find ninety percent of men in America as unattractive as undesirable. But at the same time, you know, you're not entitled to pussy. And a lot of these incels, they're not looking for pussy because a lot of them go to prostitutes. Some of them go to prostitutes. They call them porn cells, and they're like, oh, you're still an incel. Wait, so then, so wait a minute. So if you're fucking a hooker, you know, then what? what's your problem? What it is is that these men are looking for the validation of a woman. They're looking to say that, oh, they have, you know, a woman wanted them. So that makes them valuable. I saw there was an incel years ago. I saw this. that started going to the gym, working out. He got big, and he got a girlfriend. And the insults were still telling him that you are an insult. Because a lot of these guys, they end up living in their own misery. The guy got a girl. He got, got went to the gym, got fit, got a girlfriend, right? And he was like a shy guy. And this chick was like, I'll still roll with you. And you had insults literally writing saying that, you're, saying that he is still an insult. But wait a minute, guys. A woman desires him, so doesn't that mean that he's like, nope, you're still in cell. He's still in. These guys are men who are living in their own shit. They don't want to get out of it. They don't want to try. They don't want to change their lives. You know, people called Andrew Tate the king of the incels, but this is a guy that told them, listen, you need to be strong. You need to stop complaining. Get your shit together. All right? You said that women don't desire you. Are you working out? No. Okay, so start working out. You know, how's your money financial situation? Do you have any money? You have money coming in. No, go and get a job. You know, learn how to make money. Learn how to build your don't be a brokey. You know, have a disposable have ha, you know, increase the amount of disposable income you have, you know, so you can drive a nice car so that you can have money in the bank. You don't have to be filthy rich, okay? But you can but you need to have some cash, all right. You have cash on hand so you can do so you can take so, so you can go out so you can enjoy your life. All right, so you can see places, you can do things, you can buy things. You need to work on your mind. Are you working on your mind? You know, no, you're not doing that. Then you need to start reading more. You need to start developing new skills. Developing new skills. Skills will take you through the world because that gives you value. That's something that people can't take away from you. Even if they can take even that piece of paper that we get in college, you know, you go and you get your master's and PhD, they can take that shit away from you, but they can't take your skills from you. All right? They cannot take your skills from you. You go and you come you go and you get a at a, a bachelor's in computer science, they can take that shit away. But you know what they can't take away? They can't take away your skills and your ability to program. And you can go and get a job wherever. 
you can work on a you can you can do projects contracts whatever because all it comes down to is whether or not you have those fucking skills if there's something that you can teach that others can't I'm, I'm an expert in cryptocurrency i am an expert in cryptocurrency and i built those skills myself and i have made hundreds of thousands of dollars teaching men about cryptocurrency hundreds of thousands of dollars those are my motherfucking skills. No one can take that shit away from me. I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars teaching you about crypto. I've made tens of thousands of dollars teaching men about improving their lifestyle, you know, lifestyle changes, budgeting, things, finance, okay? I have a bachelor's in business. They can take that shit away from me, but they cannot take away my skill set. They cannot take away the things I've learned, all right? I'm a content creator here on YouTube. I had to learn how to do all of that shit. I'm an expert now at creating content. And I can and I teach other men how to do that shit. You cannot take those skills away from me. Okay? So if you're out there and you're not working on yourself and building skills, all right? Learning how to do Amazon distribution, you know, drop shipping or learning how to how to how to trade cryptocurrency and invest in crypto. Okay, or learning how to create content and create value for others. If you're not doing these things, if you're not working on your body, trying to get your body in shape and improve your health, not so not for some woman, but for yourself. For yourself. Okay. If you're not out there doing these things, if you're not working on your finances so that you have money in your pocket and you don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. If you're not taking care of your parents, wearing clean clothing, washing your ass every single day, shave. If you know, if you're a balding guy, you have two choices: you either shave it off, or get hair implants. Can't hear get can't afford hair implants, or you don't want to don't want to get them. Then you need to shave that shit off. All right? You don't look cute. You need to shave that shit off. Either you get hair implants or you shave that shit off. All right? And you need to do that every single day. So that your appearance, so that you always look good. And you need to take care of that baldy, all right? To get that, put that aftershave or alcohol or peroxide on it. And then you need to lotion it, okay? Moisturize it sometimes multiple times a day, okay? You need to shave your face. If you don't want to, if you don't want to take care of your beard, then you need to shave that shit off. If you want to keep a beard, you need to maintain that shit. It needs to be neat every single day. Not one day should go by and you look messed up. All right? You need to shave yourself. You need to shave your body. Okay? You want a girl to suck your dick? Are you shaving your balls? I'm just being real with you. Are you shaving your pubes? Are you shaving your dick? Are you shaving? Are you shaving? Are you? I'm, I'm serious. Do you have a hairy ass? I'm not saying you're taking in the ass, but are you shaving? You want a girl to suck your dick, but you're, but like, I mean, your crotch looks like, like a rainforest. All right? Are you taking care of your personal hygiene? You know, no one likes someone that looks like a, looks like, um, looks like, a, like there's someone like there's so, so, someone out of Planet of the Apes. And I'm talking about just men in general. Some guys are just covered in here and that shit isn't sexy. All right. Like, are you cleaning yourself up? There's a lot of women who have the same problem. There are a lot of women who are extremely hairy. They have hair all over their arms. They have hair on their legs. Sometimes some of them even grow hair on their face. And they have to get up every single day. They have to make sure their faces are, are, they have to like, sometimes some of them have to shave with, like, you know, clear the hair off their face or pluck it. They have to shave their arms regularly because they get, they have really hairy arms. They have really hairy legs. All right. They shave, they shave their ass. They shave their vag. They do their hair. They do their makeup. They wash their ass. They have to put on lotions and, and, you know, every and all these other things to make themselves smell, smell good, put on a nice outfit, a cute outfit. And are you doing any of these things? A lot of a lot of guys don't want to do these things. A lot of guys don't want to put on clean clothes. They don't want to wear clean clothes every day. I'm just being honest. Like I'm just being so real right now. A lot of these guys who are incels, like real incels. If you're taking care of yourself, but you're just not able to get a girlfriend, that doesn't make you an incel. It makes you a normal guy. That makes you a normal guy. Maybe your social skills are not that great, or maybe it's just because 
right now in America, most men aren't dating. Most young men aren't dating, period. And it's not them. It's it's just it's society in general. It's women in general in Western world. But if you're a guy, you don't want to wash your ass. You don't want to take it. You don't want to, you know, maintain proper hygiene. You don't want to change your clothes every day. You don't want to do your laundry. Your room is a, your, your apartment or your room is a mess and you don't want to clean up. Okay. You want to you, you don't want to go out and talk to a woman. You don't want to have you don't even want to try. You don't even want to try. You think that online dating is the entire world. First off, online dating is shit right now because women get so many messages in their DMs. They're, they're going to ignore you. Oh, like, I'm going to be honest. Only a fool would really mess with online dating in the West right now because women get so many requests via online dating. It's pointless. You have a better chance of going out and talking to women, actually approaching them and speaking to them. And you have a, and and you're more likely to get their phone number that way and get their attention than being one of like thousands, hundreds, if not thousands of men that are in their DMs right now begging them for attention. The average woman gets the same amount of attention on Instagram as the average male celebrity. I want you to consider that. I want you to take that into consideration. All right. The average incel, the, the incels, men who are true incels, these men are undesirable. They are undesirable. They don't want to take care of themselves. They don't want to go to the gym. They don't want to take care of their clothes. They don't want to wear clean clothes, presentable clothes, fashionable clothes. They don't want to they don't want to work on their appearance. They don't want to shave every day. Okay. They don't want to build a social circle. All right, because their life revolves around ass. Okay. They don't want to, they don't want a group of friends. They don't want to be friends with other men that have value. You don't realize that those men that have value, you know, can also help you attract women. They're called wingmen, you know, or just are, are sometimes they have sisters, sometimes they have friends. It doesn't matter. Okay. But you know, when you're when you have friends, you're gonna have things to do. You're gonna go out, you're gonna do places, go places that you're not gonna think about pussy all the time. I'm just being so honest with you. Like these men, you know, there was a thing called the mystery method, and, and uh, it was written by Mystery, this this great pick pickup artist years ago. And he said that basically, you know, to for you to for you to really get a chick, you have to have three things in place: health, wealth, and relationships. Your health has to be good, so you need to work on your physical appearance, your hygiene, you know, your hygiene, your um, your style, your health. So you need to be in shape, go to the gym. You know, you got to take care of yourself. So your health has to be good. You have to address your health. Your wealth, your money. You don't have to be rich, but you can't live paycheck to paycheck. You need money in the bank. You need to start. You need to be able to stack away a couple, couple, good, couple, at least a couple thousand, but more than that. Or right? you want to be able to say like, I got, you know, I've got tens of thousands of dollars in the bank. I've got a good ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars in the bank. Some of you are like, oh my gosh, that's too much. No, it's not. It really isn't. All right. You know, oh, I have a car, and not 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 just some clunker. I've got a car that gets me from point A to point B. Does it not have to be brand new? All right, probably shouldn't. I like Hyundai. I like Hyundai, not Honda. Hyundai. They are solid cars. You get, you can buy a Hyundai. They will drive. Listen, you can drive. They can have problems. The check engine light can be on. That shit will take you from New York to California. All right. These fucking cars are amazing. They are super reliable. I love the Hyundai Tucson. That's my dream car. Because it's so compact, I mean, so many features, you know, fuck, fuck, and it's and, and it's and it's reasonably priced. You can do off. You get like the sports edition, you know, our limited edition. You can go off road in that car. I mean, it handles amazingly well. And who gives a fuck what a woman thinks? The car looks great. Who gives a fuck what a woman thinks? Really, right? Like, like these men, these 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 real incels. They worry too much about what women think. They really do. They have no identity for themselves. But 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 like right off the bat, they're not even they're not even like the other guys that are not getting laid, all right? That are that are you know that take care of themselves and have money and are working on themselves. No, this is a specific group of guys because most of those guys that are not getting laid, but they have you know they have their health together, they have their wealth together, they have their relationships together. You know, they have friends, they have a social circle. Those guys, if you'll notice, most of the time, those guys don't hate women. They're not blaming women for their problems, but they're getting lumped together with these losers who are blaming women for all their problems. They're blaming men for their problems. They're blaming 
other men for their for their problems. They're blaming black men for their problems. I'm like, I mean, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You're blaming Tyrone for your problems? Tyrone, listen to me. No one, no one gives a shit about Tyrone. You're blaming everything is Chad and Tyrone, Chad and Tyrone. Yeah, but you're an undesirable guy. And there's a bunch of guys out there who aren't even getting laid, regardless of race. All right? And you don't see them complaining and crying and saying that they hate women. They do what they have to do. They are walking away from society. They're going overseas and they're getting themselves a woman. But guess what? You know what's funny? These incel guys, real incel guys, they could not go overseas and get a woman. You know the reason why? Because they don't have their money together. They don't have finances. So what are they going to go? They have nothing to offer. Are they going to go try to live off of Filipina? Come on. Come on. I mean, talk about your appearance. Be like you're you're like you don't you don't dress well, your hygiene is poor. You know, Filipinas, they have like very they they love to bathe. Philip Filipinos, they love to bathe. It's a part of their culture. They'll bathe two times a day, three times if they can. They love to bathe. It's like it's their thing. All right. You know, they'll if they're with a if they're with a person and like they have a very strong, they have a strong nose, like if they smell anything, they'll ask their they'll ask their partner to go take a bath. This is how Filipinas are, bro. You know? And some of y'all don't have proper hygiene, don't want to shower, don't want to shave, you know, don't want to change your clothes. But you want yourself, but you want a bad, you want a bad bitch, but you won't even wash your ass. Like, just imagine, just imagine if a, like the kind, like if a woman was the way that these guys are, like they're lazy, they don't want to bathe, they don't want to shave. So they won't shave their ass. They won't shave their. They won't shave their crotch. All right, right. Like they want. They want girl. They want girls to. You know. They imagine a woman that wanted a guy. Just imagine this. Like just imagine if they if they went out and and got a girl like themselves, like girl who doesn't put on her makeup, doesn't do her hair, doesn't wash her hair, doesn't want to do any of these things, doesn't want to wash her ass, doesn't want to get in the shower on a regular basis, doesn't want to change her clothes, doesn't want to put on clean clothing on a da- daily basis. Doesn't want to shave her legs, doesn't want to shave her arms, doesn't want to shave her pussy, doesn't want to shave anything. She lets her on her arm here grow out. She lets everything grow out. Let's let's the hair on her legs grow out. Let's the facial hair grow out. Alright. You can see the that you can see her fucking dandruff. Mm-hmm. I mean, just imagine that. And then she's asking you to go down on her. And she's and she's got this huge on way on on wieldly bush, you wouldn't want to go down. These incels would not want to go down on a girl like that. They wouldn't want to have a sex with a girl like that. They wouldn't want to have. She doesn't want to go to the gym, so she has so that she has like a belly, so she has like a pouch. She has a belly that looks like a pouch. So she's overweight, or maybe she's like super skinny, like skinny fat. So like she's not fat, but like she's skinny fat. So she looks so like she's not toned up. So she just looks kind of like you know. A little pu- even though she's not fat, she looks kind of poofy. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't really have much of a personality. Like she has no interest whatsoever. Like, hey, what do you like? Nothing. Like literally, that's it. Nothing. But she wants you to entertain her all the time. You'd be like, what the heck? So you have like no personal interest? No. You have any friends? No. Uh, you're gonna be my friend. And you're gonna take care of me. You're gonna entertain me. You're gonna do everything. Like you wouldn't want this guy. You wouldn't want this girl. But these are the characteristics that these incels have. They don't even have the very basics. You're like, do you like? Hey, do you even have a job? No, I don't have any money. You're gonna have to take care. Of, you're gonna have to pay for everything. You know, like I mean, like seriously, like seriously. Anyway, guys, that's everything I have for you. What do you agree with me? What I said. The truth about truth is incels, true incels are just undesirable men, and that a lot of guys today are being incorrectly lumped alongside these uh these guys that just don't want to take care of themselves, they don't want to maintain proper hygiene, they don't want to get their finances together, they don't want to get their health together. They you know, they're they're just guys who they're guys who are, you know, just defeatist. They're defeatist and they don't want to do what they have to do. They don't want to be men, you know, they don't want to be real boys, they don't want to have to actually do anything they just want the world handed to them and they want to blame everybody else for their problems let me know what you think in the comments if you agree with me 
And again, guys, if you have a video request, if there's a topic you want me to cover, you can find the link to my PayPal description. You can make a contribution along with your video topic. And in all the instructions in the video, if you want to drop me some cash to help me keep doing what I'm doing, you can cash at me or Venmo me. You can also find exclusive videos and exclusive uh, and early release videos via patreon.com slash angry guy. You can support me there. Find all these great tiers where I have all this extra content available there's polls you can get in touch with me it's really really good stuff but anyway guys that's everything i have for you i want to know what you think in the comments like share and subscribe to this video like the video if you like it don't forget to subscribe if you like the video share the video and just remember that all roads lead to mwa men walking away and cheers <laughs>